And I'm really glad to meet you, Tali. Yeah, nice to meet you, I'm glad. Nice to meet you, mi amiga, primera amiga. Sí, ahora somos amigos. Sí. Hola. Hola. como cantante en la calle en México. Hola chicos, estoy aquí en Chapultepec otra vez. En el primer video, I told you guys that I don't want to see the Chapultepec porque if I go or not, I'm not gonna be able to understand or I'm not gonna be able to take a picture, blah blah blah. blah. So I wanna come here with un amigo or amiga. I told you that, and oh my god, look at this. Now I'm in Chapultepec, but mira. Tada! Hola! <laughs> Okay, guys, so let me introduce my primera amiga mexicana, Sit Lali. In short, Tali. Let me introduce. Woo! Hola! Mucho gusto! Gracias! De nada. So, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Sí. Bueno, mi nombre es Sit Lali, pero me dicen Tali, tengo 20 años y soy de la Ciudad de México y ahora estoy ayudando a Jason a conocer México, ayudarle con el idioma y a grabar un poco de videos. Sí! So, here's the thing. You know, I got lots of messages like, I want to be your friend, let me introduce you to Mexico. Mexico, I can accompany you. I got tons of messages and emails on these days, but I never replied. But one day I found this one email and somehow this email gave me really kind of good impression. So without even knowing anything, without even seeing any picture, I decided to contact her. And this is the email. I'm gonna read it. So hello, Jason. My name is Citrelli. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Mexico City. Currently, I'm studying economics and I write to you to offer you my friendship. Now you are here in Mexico. This part I really liked it because she was saying I offer you my friendship moreover she said I know maybe this is your business email but my Instagram was hacked and I couldn't recover it and in this part I could feel that ah she's not a like Instagrammer or influencer who is seeking fame or followers she is not approaching me with mild intentions so I could feel that I really like that part and due to I'm good at history and Spanish I would like to help you accompany you and make your stay rewarding and share with you more of the food language Language places and musical Peso Pluma, Bad Bunny, Fade, Rosalia, and others. And you know how sweet this sentence is. For real, I think she's a really smart person. Thank you. Yeah. And you have a really nice personality. Uh -huh, thank you, you too. So she finished an email like, if it's necessary, I can identify me for more security. Anyway, here's my number. I await your response. Welcome to Mexico. Lots of love, Citrali. So she finished the email like this, and then I contacted her because, of course, I couldn't be sure who she really is. I mean, who knows? It can be one senor who wants my organs, <laughs> Asian organs. <laughs> Organ asiatico, like a human therapy contest. Mm -hmm. so I contacted her and then, can you identify yourself a little because she didn't have the Instagram even. But she even shared me her social ID and oh, okay, so this is a real person. So I decided to meet her and for real, she was a really nice person, really, really kind. And she has a really pure intention helping me. So this is the very beginning of our friendship and I'm really glad to meet you, Tali. Yeah, nice to meet you, I'm I, glad. Nice to meet you, mi amiga, primera amiga. Sí, ahora somos amigos. <laughs> sí, so entonces, you know, Last video, I introduced you guys Yaha, mi primer amigo mexicano. But he went to Cancun to visit his father. So he will be absent until August 1st week, something like that. So I have no one to help me. And here, now I got my primera super buena amiga mexicana. So I'm gonna do a lot of things with her. And since she's a student, actually I wanted to offer money to her because she's spending her time. But she's like, but no, this is a friendship. I don't want you to spend money on me. So I suggested her that all the Ubers that you are taking because of me, I'm gonna pay. And every meal, lunch, or dinner that we are gonna eating, I'm gonna pay. That's 100% on me because you're 20 years old, you're a student. That's minimum gratitude that I can offer through our friendship. So, deal? Deal. Okay, deal. deal. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Thumbs. Yeah. High five. Yeah, perfecto! <laughs> so now we are here in Chapultepec. But do you think that we can go to see Chapultepec right now? Mm -hmm. But you told me that it closes at 6. Ah, uh, yeah! Chapultepec closes at 6. A Chapultepec closes at 6, but this park doesn't close at 6. The museums are inside Chapultepec. Ah, so we cannot see that museum. It closes at 6. Or before the museum. Ah, okay. Actually, we are here to record some prank, K drama prank. We tried a few <laughs> times already. I'm gonna include the clips, but uh, somehow we failed. We have time. You, you can come. They're coming. 
So maybe next time we are gonna be here with her mom maybe <laughs> So her mom can record us and then we will maybe perform one super dramatic scene of the K-drama And then recording the reaction of the people yeah. But anyway, I'm just saying this just in case For the freaking gossipers No estoy buscando otra nueva like novia o algo This is a realmente muy buena friendship I hope nobody talk bad or make any gossip or doing anything like that Well, I'm not I can't explain about these kind of things anymore. Thank you so much, Telly. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Well, okay, let's get going. Vamonos. Okay, hello guys. Buenos dias, buenas tardes. So now we are here. Now we are here in the Beja Artist. Today we are gonna record another video. The Mi Amiga. It's a Ninita. Now she's calling me Ajashi. Can you believe that she's calling me Senor? I'm not Senor. It's a Ninita gave me one idea. Give me three palabras in Korean and te doy 100 pesos. So we are gonna do the interview here in the Beja Artist with the people. So let's get started. Tres palabras en coreano y ganas 100 pesos. Arigato. 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 Arigato is Japanese. Ichinisen. Ichinisen. Sarange. Okay, you know. Chingu. Okay. Hello guys, now I'm in the Zocalo in El Centro. Muy hermoso, sí, verdad? Ese building, they said that there is a Mexican president. Anyway, so now I'm here with my speaker and my mic. So today I'm gonna do the busking for the first time in the Mexico. This is mi primer día como cantante en la calle en México. I'm very really nervous to be really honest, but anyway, let's get started. Oh my God, I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay guys, so I finished it. Wow. For five years I never did this busking and then actually I didn't like it at all. I need to practice more. Anyway, I'm very happy that I could sing. But next time I'm gonna do it in the, another location, maybe with more people. Okay, hello guys. Now I'm in the otra casa, very nueva casa of my nueva una Mexican friend and uno Korean friend. Hola, soy Javi. Y nosotros somos Disney Channel. ¿Qué? ¿No? <risa> Jason, tú tienes que probar los chilaquiles, las flautas, los tacos, el pozole. No, tienes que probar todo eso. De verdad, él tiene que probar todo eso. Entonces, pues sí, todavía está empezando esto de la gastronomía mexicana en Jason. <risa> Aquí mi casa, tu casa. Oh, él es el profesor de coreano, Javi Coreano. So if you guys want to learn Korean, you can uh, find him in the Instagram. He's a good teacher. Perfecto. Can we pause a comment? Okay, now I'm in the one mall. Mi primera amiga mexicana, Tali. Today is her birthday. So she told me that there will be a birthday party in her uncle's house. So I'm here in the one mall by her present and then I'm gonna visit the Mexican casa. Today I'm visiting a lot of Mexican casa. But I'm not sure that how the this birthday party will look like. I'm a little bit nervous. There will be her parents, her uncle, and everyone, and yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, now I arrived to the party place near my friend's house. Uber put me in the wrong address, so I'm waiting my amiga here in the street. Oh, okay, hola! Hola! Hi. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Bien. Hola! <laughs> Okay, and this is Amiga. You didn't know that I'm gonna come here, right? Yes. You didn't expect me. <laughs> that the Uber dropped me in the over there. Why? I don't know. What is going on here? I can hear the ah. music muy fuerte. Ah, because it's Mexican music. But I don't have the key. 
Oh my god, I can hear the music super fuerte. Yeah, so they are playing super. dancing too? Only playing. Only playing? Yeah. Okay, my very first time visiting Mexican Gaza. Super excited. Okay, she's knocking the door. Nobody's answered. <laughs> Messi is a musica traditional? De Mexico? Veracruz. Veracruz. Yes. Hello, Jason. Hola. 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 Hola, mucho gusto. Hola, Jason. ¿Cómo estás, Jason? Hola, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Soy amigo de. Ah, bienvenido. Hola. Hola, Hola, Jason. Mucho gusto. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, Pásale, pásale. Miren, nosotros nos. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Bien. Vamos a poner su de refresco a los I'm eating taco mucho. I'm eating around like six tacos, seven tacos. I don't know. Mucho <laughs> Super rico. Homemade taco. Delicious. Con cerveza. Modelo. Salud. Oh, <laughs> I 
did you know that they will keep singing until 1 a.m.? Jesus Christ, Latinos? It's otro nivel. They are too much energy. Like, Jesus Christ, I was like dying like... Uh. But anyway, it was unforgettable experience and memory. Wow. Wow. So apparently, those musics were from Veracruz, which means that it's not entire Mexico's like traditional canción. Of course, I, I didn't know any song of them, but I really loved it, really loved it. Their skills, guitars, and their singing is in violin, and everything was so beautiful. And then actually they played Jorona for me, but oh, that was so good. Jorona was so good, oh my God. It was so much unforgettable. Wow, wow, wow. It was so much good. It's because I love music. That's why I was like, oh my god, so much, so much like into that moment and enjoying their playing, their singing, and everything. Please comment below that if you're Mexican, if you don't know those songs. I'm curious. But anyway, gracias, Tali, for giving me a lot of like great memories. So I think I'm gonna finish my vlog here. I feel like in the next vlog, I think I'm gonna travel a little bit because I only stayed in the Mexico City. I wanna travel a little bit, just a tiny bit. Oh, wow, anyway, because of today's experience, I'm very into the Veracruz. And I realized that it depends on the cities. Even Mexicans have a different vibes and cultures and canciones. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching today's vlog. And nos vemos in a próximo vlog. Please comment below if you guys have anything that you want to see. Ciao chicos, que tengan buen día. Ciao!